and welcome back to Spotlight. Joining me now, Dr. Dave Dulio of Oakland University. Professor, you doing okay? I'm doing well, Chuck. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, all right, we just had this election in Michigan. Uh, what do you take away as some of the highlights, some, some of the highs and lows? Well, it's an election unlike one we've ever seen uh, on, on so many levels. And, you know, we can start with the uh, uh, record voter turnout. Uh, participation was up all over the state among all sorts of different groups, demographic groups, geographic groups, et cetera. Uh, and, and that's uh, good, isn't it, Professor? Well, I, some people would measure the health of a democracy. You know, one indicator is how many people participate in that democracy. And this is one of those. So, you know, I think it speaks to the incredible enthusiasm that was on both sides of this presidential race. Would it be safe to say, for better or worse, uh, President Trump has reinvigorated, re-energized, reshaped the Republican Party of today. Um, there was no blue wave. Republicans nationally uh, gained a couple of U.S. House seats. It looks like they're going to hold the Senate, uh, although it, it also looks like that's going to be decided by two special elections in Georgia. Right. Uh, so that will be interesting. Um, but, yes, I, I think that, that the, the president brought back or brought into politics a number of people who had been absent. Uh, and that's good for the Republicans. Uh, there's going to be a new speaker of the Michigan House, Jason Wentworth. What does that mean for Governor Whitmer? Uh, great question. I mean, uh, we'll have to see how uh, her relationship with him uh, develops, I think, in the next couple of months. And certainly as uh, the new legislature starts in January, uh, do they have a better relationship uh, than the, uh, the governor and the previous speaker had? We'll see if there's any interest and any uh, uh proclivity to work together uh, more so than than uh, the last time around. Sure. Uh, Gary Peters survived his Senate seat and is going back to Washington, D.C. That was one heck of a race there that everybody kept their attention on across the country. Well, I think the, the James Peters race was really a, a fascinating one to watch, if, if only for the uh, incredible amount of money that was spent by both sides uh, right up until the end, and and it was razor thin, as you know, and and you know closer than the presidential race. I think too, it's important to note that that John James, uh, you know, won a, a higher percentage of the vote in Michigan than than President Trump did. So while Trump may have turned off some voters, they weren't uh, they some of them. Uh, who Trump turned off, would, were willing to vote for James and vote for Republican principles, at least the way he was pitching them. You've always had that wonderful post-mortem at Oakland University with the students uh, after every election. Are you still going to have that, or has COVID put a, <laughs> put a dent in that? COVID has put a dent in everything, right? <laughs> uh, well, we're, we're going to do it a little different this year, and, and we're going to go virtual with it next Tuesday. Uh, a, a couple of colleagues of mine and I will uh, be uh, taking questions live uh, at uh, 12 noon. Uh, Great. For uh, anybody who's interested, they can send me an email, find me on the OU website, and I'll tell them how to sign up. All right, and I imagine you're going to get some really interesting questions. Dr. Dave Dulio of Oakland University, thank you so much for checking in with us today. We'll stay in touch. I'm Chuck Stokes. We'll be back next week with more newsmakers in the spotlight. We hope you have a great week.